man who was killed while hanging out of the driver's side of a moving vehicle. That victim has been identified as Rodolfo Vasquez Jr. Action News reporter Elizabeth Gadley explains how the family is coping tonight. Loved ones knew him as Xavier, a fun-loving 21-year-old who always looked out for his friends. If you needed money and he had $20, he was the type of person though, he'd give it to you. He, you were cold, he'd give you a shirt right off his back. He was always there for you. Tanya Lepe says even though she knows he's gone, part of her is still waiting for him to call and say it was all a bad dream. And I could sit on the phone knowing it's going to go straight to voicemail for hours and know I won't get, he won't pick up my call. And I could sit on my phone and watch videos just trying to hear his voice. According to Metro, it all started with a fight between a woman and her ex-boyfriend. Police say the woman called Vasquez for help. When the ex-boyfriend tried to drive off, Vasquez grabbed onto the car, which eventually crashed near Jones and Highway 95, killing Vasquez. This is where the car police say Vasquez was clinging to slammed through the wall. And over here, you can see people have started leaving candles and what looks like a cross made from pieces of the wall. Lepe says Vasquez was fiercely loyal, so she can imagine him running to help a friend in need. It's a lot of the other details that are hard for her to grasp. Xavier is not one to look for trouble. Like, he avoids that stuff. He wouldn't put himself in a situation where he knew he wouldn't be able to get himself out. Police say they're still investigating and haven't made any arrests. Reporting from Las Vegas, I'm Elizabeth Gadley, Channel 13 Action News.